Hello. I'm really sorry I can't be with you, <laughs> but I thought I'd just send this video to give a little explanation of what I have been involved with, and how that has been, what that's been like, and where I'm hoping to be going, as I thank you all very much for your support, your prayers over the last many years. So I came to South Africa from a context of doing student work. I've been wanting to be involved in student work um, outside of the UK, <coughs> but um, hadn't found that position yet, although I did really want to go to South Africa as I'd come to under appreciate that as a, a country very much um, from my mum, who is South African, going there on childhood holidays. So I was really thrilled when the, the Lord opened up that door with Crosslinks in 2006. And I came to be involved in a student work there, a church-based student work, and that then became an independent student work um, alongside the wider church in KwaZulu-Natal, in um, Durban primarily, which is on the east coast of South Africa. Um, and it was a student work that, um, yeah, God continues to use and grow, and in his kindness is going from strength to strength. So it's been a joy to be part of um, all along. Um, I think to describe the student work, um, it's a small but deep work. So our aim was to help people to come to appreciate um, God's voice in the Bible for themselves, to read it for themselves. Um, African culture would be more used to many other voices. Um, well, we're all used to that in different ways, but to come to appreciate God's voice um, and see who Jesus is for themselves, not just from the Christian culture that surrounded them, and to come to appreciate what God calls them to um, and saves them from, um, and then the wonder of living under his Lordship. So it was many wonderful hours of discipleship, um, whether in the form of one-to-ones or talks or conferences. And you can imagine 15 years spun by. Um, I was, well, for the last three years I was involved with something else, but um, which I'll come to in a minute. But yeah, you got, I got to see, um, you know, meeting after meeting, um, all these different um, students grow little bit by little bit, then graduate, get jobs, get their driver's licenses, and change jobs, get married, remain single, have kids, um, and yet all the while continue to keep growing as Christians in that, you know, little stop-start kind of way that we <laughs> tend to in his grace. Um, he keeps us keeping on. Um, I then spent the last three years um, before I left South Africa um, in another part um, in the Cape, in Cape Town itself, at a Bible college, which was an excellent chance to continue to be in Africa, but be studying amongst um, students from across South Africa, across Africa, and even a few of us from beyond. And so it was a wonderful time of, um, I guess, digging into some of the big issues um, of how do you take God's word out in, in Africa, where there are challenges that maybe are different from um, a European country, or just it was wonderful to think through some of the things that um, one had experienced at, in student ministry, but then continue to think about them with others. Um, it was also great to dig into the Greek and the Hebrew to understand a little bit more um, what, you know, how things were written originally, and also to appreciate the way in which doctrines, teachings had come together fought for across church history and renewed across church history, established across church history. So I found that um, very helpful. And I think part of that was realizing just where, how different teachings, we bring so much framework of our own to them, whether it's our cultural setting, our personalities, um, you know, life around. We, uh, we don't realize how much that informs why we form certain doctrines. So I think to try and come back to what does the Bible say rather than what our culture should be saying um, and where are our blind spots in that way um, was was very helpful. And I think being in a cross-cultural setting um, does that mar marvelously as well um, because you get to be sharpened by those who don't have the same cultural environment as you. Um, so I really um, loved doing that with many st students, many um, fellow students at Bible College and appreciating 
those unchanging principles, unchanging universal truths, um, how they apply differently in our different situations and yet still holding to God's truth. Um, and I think that really is sharpening. Um, I think that's a little bit of a taste of enjoying God's gospel, you know, in all nations, with all peoples. And I do think being part of um, Crosslinks gives us a taste of that too. And thank you so much for partnering with me in this over the last years. And I hope you'll continue to enjoy partnering with others um, as I as I head off. So my thanks to you is immeasurable. Um, I couldn't every time I was on campus or in college, I'd be like, these these are people who have you know enabled. There are people in the UK beyond who enable me to to be here. So it was a marvelous encouragement and a, just a real gift to to me and to many others um, who got to benefit from that um, as I got I was freed up to to hold out God's word and enjoy God's word with them and the, the thanks goes to God um, uh, he look let's look and see what he's done as he's raised disciples and made them stand on their own and um, firm rooted in him and continuing to grow in him and I trust will remain in him and keep being fruitful um, one of the things that I actually left the UK with from my first um, sending church was Psalm 115 verse 1 not to us not to us but to your name be the glory because of your steadfast love and your faithfulness and that has been true every every time so I want to really give him the thanks for all that he's enabled and the way he's enabled us to have these wonderful partnerships um, that yeah, me, I never knew as much about the UK church, I think, until I got to be a, a mission partner in South Africa. So thank you for supporting me. Um, I've really appreciated it. Um, the future is, um, uh, well, there's some certainties and some not so sh sure things, but um, Psalm 115 is something to um, go forward with. So my fiancé and I, uh, we that's a verse we have come to appreciate a lot and hope, want to kind of keep running with um, into into our marriage. We hope to get married in June. Uh, we will be based in Cambridge, um, the Lord willing, and hope um, yeah he will be continuing his work. But we hope to um, I hope to find um, a niche that the Lord has there for me in teaching and encouraging others, meeting up with others, working on some little projects with others um, in the Bible. So. Yeah, that's probably the sort of less certain part as such, but um, I trust that that will clarify as, as we get there. But it's a bit of a transition time at this point. But please do remember um, to, to, yeah, to keep knowing, praying that one would, um, that I would, and um, Ugo, my fiancé and I, we would, yeah, not give, not take the glory from God, but give him the glory because of all his steadfast love and faithfulness thus far and we trust going forward so thank you again so so much um yeah praise be to god for his church with yeah with much love and with a little bit of zulu to end which means thank you very very much bye bye